Hello everybody, Inquisitive Joe here, and I know that this is long overdue, but I figure right now I ought to make a video thanking you all for helping me hit a thousand subscribers. I mean, I'm really glad that I finally hit this level because I'm probably one of the best YouTube ranters on here and... Uh, yeah right. What? Uh, Lindsay, what are you doing here? Do you really think that you're the perfect ranter? That you're flawless? That you can do no wrong? Well, it's just that... You have got to be fucking kidding me. What sort of asshole does this shit? Ramsey, what the hell? How are you... Damn, man, I never knew you were such a pompous douchebag. God. John? How the hell are you all getting in here? Um, it's the internet, man. This sort of thing isn't really all that hard to do. <sighs> okay, well... What do you guys want? Do you really think I've messed up that badly here? Yep. Pretty much. Well, I know I've made a few slip-ups, but I don't think any of them have been that bad. We'll see about that. What do you mean? Well, um, while you were gone, we, uh, took it upon ourselves to, uh, make a list of your biggest mistakes here on YouTube. <sighs> Why not? I guess for my thousand subscriber special, we'll be looking at the top ten goof-ups I made here on YouTube. This is your thousand subscriber special? Should we add ripping off the Nostalgia Critic's top eleven fuck-ups to this list? Oh, cut me some slack here. I'm not very creative. In any case, these are the top ten IQJ goof-ups. And of course, you also realize that now that you've done that, everyone is going to be commenting that you done goofed, right? Oh, would you just get on with the list? Sure thing. I'll start. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with your voice? Wait, didn't I cover this already? No, I'm not talking about the sound of it. I'm talking about the annoying clicking sound you do that makes you sound like a joker wannabe. Uh, that. Yes, many people have observed that. I seem to smack my lips or click my tongue a lot whenever I talk, and at times I sound like the joker. However, this can be explained by two simple facts. First, I grew up with a slight speech impediment, and it still kind of affects me today. Not by a lot, but still a little bit. Second, I live near Chicago, and I'm frequently up there. Part of it is just an accent. I can't really help it. I mean, it's not a heavy one, but you can still see it here and there. And that's why sometimes I'll talk like a rejected member of the Bill Swirsky superfans. Leave your stupid comments in your pocket. Yes, ma'am. While I'm on the subject, though, I think it is kind of humorous that a lot of people said I sounded like the Joker from The Dark Knight, only because I actually did portray him in my friend's project for her History of American Film class. And you know what? She can't stand the sight of me. She leaves! But now, I see the funny side. And now, I'm always smiling. <laughs> <laughs> a little fight ya. I like that. Well, you're gonna love me. In any case, I know it can be annoying at times, but there's really not a whole lot I can do about it. The way I look at it is that it gives people something to bitch about when they can't refute any of the points that I make. Too bad it annoys a lot of your fans, too. Oh, shut it. A straw man argument is a fallacy in logic, not the way you described it. Back in my video on Onision, I said that a straw man argument was basically taking someone's point and distorting it to make it seem like they're wrong. I still feel that was kind of right in explaining it, but admittedly, the whole concept was, and still is, a little confusing to me. It's not rocket science, man. It's kind of like this. Okay, let me try to explain this better for you. Person A says, I don't want nuclear weapons. Person B says, I don't want to be without proper protection. Person A then says, Person B wants nukes so we can go to war with some other country. Does that make any better sense to you? Well, that's kind of what I said in the video. I said that Onision claims that if you like to eat sweet pork, you probably wouldn't have much of a problem eating human flesh. And basically what he's getting is that if you like eating any form of meat, you'll probably become a cannibal. That's really not the same thing. Well, I still thought it was pretty accurate. But I ended up getting a lot of messages correcting me on it, and even had someone write an essay explaining what a straw man argument was. If I had known people would take these things so seriously, I wouldn't have brought it up to begin with. 
Hey, don't take it personally, man. All they're doing is correcting you and trying to explain a very basic concept to you to make you sort of understand. Eh, fair enough. Please, sir, explain to me this. How on earth did you miss the easy shot at Jack Thompson? Going back to my Onision video, I made a comment about Onision's logic saying that if you like eating pork, you probably wouldn't have a problem with eating human flesh. It's a lot like saying that if you play shooter games, then you probably wouldn't have a problem shooting people in real life. The comparison itself wasn't a bad one, but a lot of my fans pointed out that I missed an easy shot at former Senator Jack Thompson, who pretty much had that mentality about video games. I... I just don't get how you missed something like that. You went and made an obscure Mystery Science Theater reference, but you miss the obvious joke on Jack Thompson? Yeah, it was pretty embarrassing that I had a joke I could have made in plain sight and missed it completely, but to be honest, I really don't see why it's considered that big of a mistake. I... I... I, I, I still just don't get how you make the random MST3K joke and miss the obvious joke. Okay, you know why I missed it? It's because I goofed up. There's really not a whole lot more I can say on this. Can we just go to the next one? <laughs> you know this is coming. You done goofed. Shut up! Why were you putting Arch's names in the tags of your early videos? Long live Archie. Could you be any more of a kiss-up? This is just something I'll flat out admit that I shouldn't have done, but I thought was fitting at the time. To those who don't know, I made this channel when the Archfiend was originally kicked off of YouTube and had Long Live Archfiend in the tags to act as kind of a message that would carry on what he started. He eventually returned since he's, in a sense, been making videos, but I still put that in the tags. Probably because you were trying to get more views. But hey, that's not true! Really? Okay then. Explain yourself. The thing is that was something of a message that I wanted to continue pushing, that what Arch started wouldn't be put to an end. However, when he did return, I should have stopped putting it in there. I probably should have stopped putting it in there long before that. And a lot of people said that was rather hypocritical of me to criticize people like the irate gamer and Shane Dawson for using misleading tags when I had indirectly done the same thing. I've since removed the tags, and I won't deny that what I did was wrong, but I'm also trying to show that I've worked to fix it. Fair enough, I guess. You're still a kiss-up, though. Gee, thanks. Just how in the hell did you manage to spell the rudimentary word jealous wrong after criticizing other people for misspelling it? This is one of my more embarrassing goof-ups. In my How Does the You're Just Jealous argument work video, I told people if they're going to resort to using the jealous card, they should at least spell jealous right. Only to spell it wrong myself a few seconds later. However, I did manage to catch the mistake shortly after uploading it, and I corrected it in an annotation. Now, what I'm struggling to comprehend is how you didn't catch this mistake when you first filmed it, or when you first edited it, how about when you, I don't know, originally put it on YouTube? See where I'm going? Alright, I get it. The truth is that I really didn't notice that at first was because I actually have some minor dyslexia. I will occasionally mix up some letters every now and then, and sometimes I'll mispronounce words. Hell, I'm sure there's a bunch of words I mispronounced that I haven't caught in other videos. What makes this one so embarrassing is that it's really something I should have spelled correctly, because I'm criticizing others for always misspelling it. Now, well, what's really sad is that's not your worst misspelling, but we'll just let that one slide until later. Oh gee, it can hardly wait. <laughs> Why is it that you rarely show any emotion, despite considering yourself to be a ranter? Seriously, you sound like you're bored half the time. That is an insult to my craft, sir! Another thing that a lot of people have noted in my videos is that I sometimes come off as rather monotone, deadpan, and that I honestly sometimes sound a little bored. And that it sounds like the Joker. We already covered that! <laughs> I know, I know. I, I just find great joy in annoying you. Yeah, I can tell. In any case, the reason that I don't show much emotion is because I honestly try to make it so that in most of my videos I'm calm and collected. And 
to be perfectly honest, my Why I Hate Shane Dawson video isn't one of my favorites despite having the most views and being responsible for the huge surge in my fan base. I try to avoid screaming and losing my temper and swearing because I feel I don't have to do so to show that something has annoyed me or ticked me off. Yes, we can all tell that you're so angry when you talk like this. We can feel the pure rage in your voice. It is unmistakable and impossible to escape. Oh, come on! I'm not that monotone! See? See? It can be more effective to show a little emotion. What the... Okay, fair enough. The thing is, I just feel like I don't have to resort to screaming and swearing to get my point across, and I can come off as a little more coherent and it can be taken a little more seriously when I do things in a civil manner. Yes. Yes. We all take the man in his 20s who dresses like a Dan Aykroyd wannabe seriously. Good one, Elwood. I swear to God, Ramsey. Why didn't you credit the YT Watchdog as an inspiration at all? To those who don't know, YT Watchdog was the first person that actually started exposing douchebags like Shane Dawson and Philip DeFranco. I've stated numerous times that the Archfiend was my inspiration, but the Archfiend always acknowledged that YT Watchdog was here first and that he was the guy who in a way inspired him. So why did you never credit him? That's the thing. I really don't have a reason for this. I'll be perfectly honest, it's just one of those things I really screwed up on. I mean, I had his channel featured on mine since I started it, but not once have I given him the proper acknowledgement that he deserves. And it may be a little late to mention this now, but YT Watchdog was an inspiration to me, and I did watch his videos as well as The Archfiend well before I started making videos here. So, YT Watchdog, if you happen to see this video, I'm sorry for the late acknowledgement, and I'm really sorry for screwing up there. Better late than never, I suppose. What was with that unnecessary shot at Republicans, man? If there was ever a line I wish you could just go back and erase altogether, it would be in my video regarding the jealous argument. In said video, I made a shot at Republicans, basically saying that they're no better than the people who pulled the jealous card. Alright, he's not this infallible god who is always right, and these people who jump to the you're just jealous argument go in without looking at the facts. They don't refute any of the points made. They consider their golden idols untouchable, and when they're criticized, all they do is resort to name calling. You know, now that I think about it, there's a word for these people. Republicans. I just can't believe you were that much of an idiot that you would risk alienating half of your audience for the sake of some punchline. Yeah, it was just something I didn't really think out and didn't think would upset a lot of people. But a lot of people said that it was just out of place and completely uncalled for, and they're right. A lot of people found it to be rather snarky and offensive, and since then I've made a personal rule to keep political comments out of my videos in the future. Still, if I made a shot at Jack Thompson like people were expecting me to do earlier, wouldn't that have resulted in on people giving me a lot of flack? No, 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 no. The difference is that you're just mocking one individual, not the entire party itself. Yeah, and that makes sense, I guess. Bottom line, I just want to make it clear that I'm really sorry for the people who got upset about my jab at the Republicans, and I will never let something like that ever happen again. <laughs> If you hate the Westboro Baptist Church so much, why didn't you make videos on them sooner? This is a rather common question that I get, and one that has a pretty interesting story behind it. Back before I started doing this, and before I started doing my other channel, I made a YouTube channel by the name of Stop the Hostility, with the intention of commenting on Westboro's ideas and videos and pointing out all their flaws. I made that channel early because I liked the name and hoped that I would be able to get started after downloading a bunch of their sermons. So, what happened with it? I'm getting to it! Basically, I got caught up with a lot of schoolwork and had to keep pushing it back. And when I had time to, I found out that Arch was getting the boot from YouTube and decided that I would start this channel, resulting in that channel getting pushed back even further. As time went on, I honestly just forgot about it until a fan mentioned the Westboro Baptist Church a few months after doing videos here. I didn't want to have to deal with making a third channel and maintaining that one, so I just decided that I would put my Westboro videos here. 
Yeah, I don't buy that. You probably just wanted to rant on people like Shane Dawson so you could get more views and subscribers. Ramsey, to be perfectly honest, you're starting to sound like a Shane Dawson fanboy. You take that back, you fucker! That was one bridge too fucking far! Okay, okay, okay. You're right. I'm sorry, that was too far. You're forgiven. This time. But don't let it happen again. My army is growing, and they are far-reaching. Anyway, that's pretty much the story as to why I didn't rant on the Westboro Baptist Church before, and hopefully should answer the question that a bunch of you have been asking. And yes, I do intend to do as many videos, if not more on them, than I have done on Shane Dawson. How did you spell your own username, username wrong? wrong. This is just embarrassing. I mean, there's no excuse for this. As many people have pointed out, yes, I managed to spell my own username wrong. I just don't get how you managed to do that. You bitch about people who don't use proper grammar and yet you're the one who spells your username wrong. How do you get away with that? Well, it is kind of a hard word to spell. Oh, that is no friggin' excuse! You, you never bothered to use spell check when you were making the account and it took you over half of a year to finally realize your stupid mistake? It was just a minor typo. Seriously, Joe, that is just pathetic. I mean, wow. Just fucking wow. That takes a real fucking special level of stupidity to be able to pull something that fucking harebrained off. I mean, we're talking Man and the Dinosaurs existed simultaneously stupid. We're talking Darwin Award stupid, okay? Fucking unacceptable. Alright, I get it. I suck. I know. But to be perfectly honest, as embarrassing as this is, it's something I'm not going to change because, honestly, I just can't help but laugh at it. What's more embarrassing is that I was looking at being a friggin' English teacher before I started looking into psych. That just makes you sound worse. It's a good thing you decided to change majors, my friend. Yes, please. Definitely do us a favor and stay out of the teaching business. As I pointed out from time to time in my own videos, kids today already have enough problems in school. They don't need you holding them back as well. Gee, thanks a lot, guys. You all suck. Actually, you don't. With all joking aside, I really do care about you guys' feedback, and I know that I'm not perfect. And this doesn't just apply to Lindsay, Ramsey, and John. This goes out to all of you who are subscribed to my channel. I really do care about what you have to say, and I don't see it as a bad thing when people correct me. It just shows that you guys have a genuine interest in what I do here, and I appreciate it. I'm sure they'll make more mistakes down the line. I'm sure they'll have a bunch of you pointing them out to me. But hopefully I won't have to make another video like this for a long time. So, until next time, Lindsay, John, Ramsey, thank you for coming on. Thanks for having me, Joe, John, and Ramsey. You guys rock, and for everyone watching this, have a great day. Hey, no problem, my friend. It's been an absolute pleasure. You know I have no problem whatsoever pointing out the flaws in others. I, 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 I just derive a sick joy in it, I guess. It's all part of my charm. But this isn't about me. It's about you. Keep up the good fight, man, and, and just, just try. Try to get your shit straightened out a bit. And... Proofread. Have a good day, folks. And everyone else, I'm Inquisitive Joe, reminding you that sometimes the questions are more important than the answers. You know, while we're on the subject, though, I did find it humorous that a lot of people said that I sounded like the Joker from The Dark Knight, because I actually did portray him in my friend's project for her history of a male... Or, yeah. I might as well just keep rolling with it. I guess it'll be one long, continuous video. Hmm. If that's the case, you'll just have to tolerate this. Beer! I don't know, maybe that's an outtake. The thing is that I have some minor dyslexia. God damn it! Yes.
Yes, we all take the man in his 20s who dresses like Dan Aykroyd wannabe. Did that, that, that. Strike that. We'll try that one again. To be honest, I still feel that I was kind of right in explaining it, but admittedly, the whole concept is and still was. Blah, 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 blah. Words are not working with me today.